They're a wild animal. You're guaranteed a good meal when Nick is cooking. <laughs> Nick likes fire. That's a thing of beauty. I have never <laughs> seen anything like it. That's really good. Welcome to Farm to Fork. I'm Nick Benninger. Farm to Fork is made possible with the generous support of Explore Waterloo Region. For a comprehensive guide on where to eat and what to see and do in the area, visit explorewaterloo.ca. Today I'm in Air, Ontario, visiting my good friends at Oak Ridge Acres. Jesse Gerber runs the store, while Mark, her dad, works out in the field. With these guys. About 10 years ago, looking to escape the volatile beef market, Mark switched to bison. Over the years, it just kept building and we haven't looked back. And though their main product changed, Mark's simple approach to natural farming never will. You are putting a bit more time, effort and money into it, but it's just back to the basics of farming. Hey Jess, you got a few more kids than last time we saw each other. Hey Nick, yeah. Introducing Purdy, Billy and Ellie. <laughs> awesome, they're beautiful. Yep. Tell me a little bit about where you started and where you've come. We um, started in May 2004. I don't think it was much after that we met you for the first time. You guys yeah. were one of my first local farm relationships. I had called your your folks up and asked for about 200, uh, you know, three quarter inch thick New York steaks. And they had to explain to me that's not how ordering from small farms would work. There's only so many cuts that come from a specific animal. So that really gave me what I needed to be this chef who believes in nose to tail cooking and supporting local farms. Yeah, it was probably a bit of an eye-opening experience. When you came for the first time, it was just a chest freezer in a garage, and then we added a couple more freezers in a room in our house. Customers started driving in and wanting uh, the beef that we were raising, and then they said, well, uh, can you get me chicken as well? And then about nine years ago, we built the store that's standing now today, and we became the Oak Ridge Acres Country Meat Store. One thing that's changed an awful lot from 2004 is these bison. Yeah, so the bison have been here on the farm for just over 10 years now. We started working with one farm in St. Mary's. And it got to the point where the farmer in St. Mary's said, hey, I can't keep up with you. Uh, you're a beef farmer, throw some bison in there as well. So that's what we did. So here we are 10 years later and we have almost 90 head of bison here on the farm. It's amazing. Well, Jess, it's been great chatting with you and it was wonderful to meet your kids. Uh, I think I saw Mark over in the field on my way in, so I'm gonna head over and say hi to him and I'll catch up with you later in the store. Sounds good, I'll just finish up with these guys. Awesome, good luck with that. Hey Mark, long time no see. I see yes. you've got some new creatures around the farm. We've branched into some of the bison industry. It takes a, a number of years to get them up to the size that you would need them to process them. But we're there now and it's all working out. That's awesome. What drove you to bring on bison? The benefits of the meat. Bison has no cholesterol and very little fat and it really took off. So I made the decision that we would be 100% uh, bison farm. The, the taste of bison is real yeah. nice and deep, rich it, meat it, flavor. Yeah, it's very, very rich and it requires a little different style of cooking, but there's lots of information out there. And I imagine it takes a different set of skills to raise it too. Uh, we don't do anything on foot. Yeah. <laughs> I knew how to work with the cattle and stuff. So you have that total mindset in your head that is just like, well, hop over the gate and go check on them. And then the bison arrived and it was like, Right. You, you, don't you don't hop, hop over, the, over gate. the gate and you don't <laughs> check on them. <laughs> Mark, I've already learned so much from you here and I would love to be able to chip in. Is there something I can do to help out? We're going to be doing the feeding a little later on. So, yeah. <laughs> so if you can gear up for that. Uh, you yeah, I'll, you I'll, want me I'll, to help feed? All right. Well, <laughs> in the meantime, I'm going to go back to the shop and check out the new store and, and talk to Jess a little bit. And maybe I'll ask her if I'm really safe to do this and I'll be oh, back soon. Very good. I know I'm going to use bison, but I'm starting to get a feeling I'm going to keep it real clean and, and really focus on that meat. Hey, we just filmed there the other week. What an amazing place and what a character Liz is. 
new addition to the store, but they are flying off the shelf. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. You've got these products, beautiful display yeah. all over the store. Yeah. Can you give me a little tour around and show me some other products? Sure, let's go. Awesome. This is our bison freezer here, full of all of our bison meat raised here on our farm. These, uh, are these marrow bones or what are these? So there's uh, some marrow bones and some soup bones. So just depending how we trim up, but amazing stock or just doing a nice marrow dish. Love that. We've got this gorgeous bison bone marrow. This is finding its way into the meal for sure. You're also making things in the store now. Tell me a little bit about that change. Yeah, we have a full-time chef in our kitchen making all these ready-to-go, made-from-scratch, home-cooked meals. Man, does it smell good. The minute I walked in here, I could just smell caramelizing onions. Well, I think that's currently our bison meat pie filling that yeah. you're smelling. Chef Jen. This is Chef Nick. Welcome. Hello, nice Chef. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Yes. It smells amazing in here. Thank you. I think I might have to grab one of those pies <laughs> before I leave. Is there anything you can tell me about working with bison meat? It is extremely lean, so it will cook very quickly. But it has a real depth of flavor that is just really beautiful. Cool. I think I might be working with some bison later on. I hope so. <laughs> Chef, thank you for the time here in the kitchen and for the tips with cooking bison. I think Mark's going to have me feeding some bison in the field. Do you have any <laughs> tips for me on that? <laughs> the hell was that about? That means she's happy she's in here and you're going out. I don't like that laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Chef Jen's laugh when she found out I was going to go out and feed the bison made me a little bit nervous. I'm not totally sure how to feel, but I'm going to keep my eyes wide open while I'm out there. Hey, Mark, I'm here and ready to help. Very good. Let's hop on and go for it. Up in here? Yeah, up in here. Oh. That's the way. We'll close the gate, though, so you don't fall out. Beauty, I appreciate that. that big papa there, Mark, the big yes. fellow with the... The big boy in the center, that's Tatanka. You can really pick up on the fact that yeah. he's in charge. He's the boss. What a beast. Go on this side and just dump them out the side. They'll... There you go. Here they come. You guys like me because I got the feed. These are like pretty happy customers, Mark. I'm not yes, used to this. Yes. They love their treat. So do I. There's Tatanka. Has this guy been with you since day one? Yes. He's 12 years old now, I think. Is he your only bull? Yeah. So he's responsible for all this? Yeah. He's wow. a happy man. Good for you, buddy. You've done good. I just have two kids. See, you can probably scratch his forehead there. Really? I can't quite reach him. He knows, I think he can sense my culinary abilities, and <laughs> I don't mean any harm. <laughs> I thought he handled it pretty good. Yes, <laughs> they yes, were uh, right up there. <laughs> he was uh, he was getting very personal with Tatanka. Yes. <laughs> these guys are awesome. Feeding these guys was just a blast, but now it's time for me to do my real day job: stoke up a fire and cook for these folks. I think Nick's gonna prepare something a little out of the box and delicious as per usual. I know what I'm gonna make, and it's gonna be just as special as those creatures. got the bison behind me so it's a little nerve-wracking considering that's what we're cooking. I've decided that I'm gonna make burgers. They're gonna be just a really simple burger that gets a huge amount of butter on it. I'm gonna roast this bone marrow off and mix it into the butter and they're gonna be absolutely delicious. So I'm just gonna place my bison marrow bones in my bake oven here. On goes my lid. I'm gonna find some nice burning charcoals to put on top and I'm just gonna let that do its thing. Now I'm just gonna slice up some onions. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is mix up our bison burgers. Overthinking something like a hamburger is where so many people go wrong. This is a simple food and you don't wanna mess with it too much. Now it's time to make our butter sauce. So into our bowl goes a half pound of butter and I'm gonna get my bone marrow. And oh my God, those are perfect. So what I'm gonna do is get that bone marrow right out of it. Oh yeah. Man, I wish you guys could smell this. This is incredible. And then I just want to give this a good mixing. So that's really good. Now I cook my burger. I'm going to be pretty aggressive with both my salt and my pepper. Yes. 
So my burgers are on. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is start adding my onions. A little more salt and pepper. Oh yeah, that's a thing of beauty. We're just warming these suckers up, putting a little bit of a toast on them. Woo. Oh, these onions are perfect. I'm just ready to put my butter on my burgers and my guests are here, so the timing couldn't be better. How's it going, guys? Looks amazing. amazing. I don't want you to worry too much about the <laughs> calories today. These are pretty indulgent burgers. I hope you like onions because there's a lot of them here. That is a burger. That's a burger. <laughs> That's yeah. a burger. Just hold me back. Just hold you back. <laughs> All right, guys, I think our burgers are ready for us. They're a mouthful. I definitely recommend you eat like a chef and yeah. pretend you're standing over a garbage can. We can do that. We can do that. Yeah. But dig in there and grab a hamburger. Look at that. Guy Fieri taught me this one. Mm. Wow. It's yeah. a perfectly cooked burger. That is uh, beautiful. Well, guys, I truly appreciate our relationship, and uh, today was just a ton of fun, and so thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. I can't wait to come back. Yes. Sounds good. Any day. <laughs>